Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Galladay and this is Vodcast 5 for Honors Biology at Desert Ridge High School. Uh, as always, if you have questions, if you want to write those down on the left hand side of your notes. Um, this is going to be a little bit more detailed information than anything that we've done so far to date. Uh, so um, we will be talking about this stuff in class tomorrow, so if you do have questions, just jot those down. Also, this is a good time to pause the, uh, the playback while you update your table of contents and organize your notebook before we continue on. Okay, this is part two of the nervous system and we're going to be talking about neurons. Um, neurons are cells of the nervous system. They're the individual cells that make up your brain, spinal cord, and all the various nerves uh, and organs of the peripheral nervous system. Okay, um, first of all, there, each neuron it consists of the parts that you see here. Uh, a neuron is just a specialized cell that carries information uh, in the form of both electrical and chemical messages. Okay, this is a diagram here, and you should uh, take just a minute and sketch this little guy out into your notebook. Again, this is a good place to pause while you do that. You do need to get a a sketch of this neuron into your notebook. Okay, as we said, a neuron uh, carries both an electrical and a chemical message, but they only carry messages in one direction. Uh, for, for this particular neuron, um, the direction that the message is going to travel is from the left to the right. Um, but you can think of it, uh, it will always carry it from the dendrite towards the cell body and then from the cell body down the axon towards the axon terminal. So no matter which way the diagram that you see, the direction of the nerve impulse, the direction that the message travels down the, the neuron is from the dendrites to the cell body to the axon towards the axon terminal. Okay, now this is true whether we have one neuron or two neurons. Um, in this case, we have two of them uh, that are shown connected together, and the place that they're connected together is right in here. And this is extremely important little place. This is a gap which is called the synapse, S-Y-N-A-P-S-E. And the synapse is just the gap between two neurons. Um, the axon terminal, if you think of the previous drawing that you just drew, the axon terminal is the upstream part of the gap and the dendrite is the downstream part of the gap. So on neuron number one that you're seeing here, the, the message originally originated down here at the dendrite, traveled down to the cell body, then continued down through the axon, continued down to this axon terminal, and at that point it got to this little bitty gap here. Uh, and then the message crossed the gap in the form of a chemical message uh, where it was picked up by neuron number two and then it became an electrical signal again, traveled down this dendrite towards the cell body and then traveled down the cell body to, towards the axon, down the axon to the axon terminal and continues in that way. Okay, so this is the general direction of our, our, our nerve impulses. Uh, again, they always travel from the dendrite towards the axon terminal. If we look a little closer at these uh, axon terminals and dendrites, this is what they look like. Uh, this would be the, the terminus of the axon, or the axon terminal of one neuron. Okay, so you see that coming from the top left corner. Uh, and then this is that uh, what that axon terminal looks like. And then down here, this area, is the dendrite of the next neuron. Okay, we'll be talking about some of these little things down in here and what they are and how they're involved, uh, but basically they're involved in creating that chemical message which travels across this teeny tiny little gap here. This teeny tiny little gap which is called the what? That's right, it's the synapse. Okay, so here is a simplified diagram uh, of the, the picture that we just saw. And again, this would be a good 
thing to copy into your notes. We're going to be adding uh, several little pieces of information here on the right. So this is another sketch that you're going to want to have. Uh, at the top, we see axon number of from neuron number one. So this would be in our previous drawing, uh, the one on the left. So our information is coming from this area. Okay, our, our nerve impulse or our message is coming from this top left corner down to the axon terminal. It's going to have to cross this uh, synapse, this gap here, uh, and then be picked up by the dendrite of neuron number two, where it's going to continue on its way. Okay, the way that happens is we have an electrical signal. First of all, it's an electrical signal, as shown by these uh, lightning bolts. Um, so it's an electrical signal that's coming down the axon, away from the cell body, um, and we're still in neuron number one. Okay, so it's an electrical signal at this point. Now at this point, the electrical signal can't jump the gap, okay? Believe it or not, uh, you sometimes see the nervous system are, uh, portrayed by little lightning bolts, um, but these things aren't like, you know, Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory or something. They're not, uh, you, you don't have sparks jumping uh, around in your body. Um, it is an electrical signal, but it is very, very, very weak. It's in the millivolts, um, very, very small amounts of electrical current, very small um, charges that are that are being carried down these uh, down these neurons. At any rate, at this point, the next thing that has to happen is that electrical signal um, is going to uh, release these chemicals, which are called neurotransmitters. Now. Neurotransmitter is a big fancy word, but again, you know what a transmitter is. It's something that transmits a message, that sends a message, that carries a message. And the word neuro, of course, just refers to the nervous system, or in this case, to a neuron. Um, the lightning bolts, are, or the electrical signal comes down, causes these neurotransmitters to be released from vesicles. Now, vesicles are nothing more than little sacs or little bubbles that contain this substance. These neurotransmitters are, are um, specialized chemicals um, that are released into this gap and just diffuse, in other words, just uh, on their own spread out across into uh, the synapse, into this gap, which is a, a watery liquid, uh, which is between all of our cells. Um, and then they are going to uh, diffuse across this gap over towards the the dendrite of neuron number two. So these little neurotransmitters are the chemical messages which are symbolized here by these little red dots. Um, they are the things that are going to carry this message across the synapse. And the way they do that is you'll see that one of these little red dots or some of these little red dots uh, are going to connect to this thing uh, that looks like a tooth. Okay, it's not really a tooth. Um, this is actually a receptor molecule, and this receptor molecule is on the, um, the dendrite of neuron number two. So once that uh, neurotransmitter connects into that receptor, uh, it fits in kind of like a lock and a key. And once that happens, that causes an electrical charge uh, to be released in the dendrite of neuron number two. Okay, so now our electrical signal is uh, created in neuron number two, and that is going to continue down through the dendrite of neuron number two, back uh, into the cell body, down the cell body, and then down uh, the um, the axon of the second neuron. Um, and then that will just continue on in that way. This is how messages are carried through your brain. This is actually uh, what happens in our thoughts and memories um, are nothing more than a sequence of uh, electrical signals and um, chemical signals, um, which are both interacting in, in different ways. And we're going to see um, in the coming days, uh, you're going to see a little bit more about um, how that works. So I'm going to back up just a minute to, to show you some details again, or just to kind of back up and clarify here. Um, so 
what we just saw was the details of what's happening here at the synapse. Okay, um, we said that a neuron is a um, specialized cell that carries both electrical and chemical messages. Okay, it carries these messages um, to and from your brain. So if this would be a sensory neuron, it would be carrying this information towards your brain from one of your sense organs. If this was a motor neuron, it would be carrying a message away from your brain. Uh, but they always carry the message in the direction from the dendrite. It originates at a dendrite, goes down the cell body, down the axon, ends up at the axon terminal. Okay, connects to generally connects to another um, uh, to another neuron. Um, or possibly this is where you could have your effector cells or your motor cells like your muscles and so on that, that respond to these impulses. Okay, so here's our single neuron. Again, the impulse is traveling in this case from left to right. Here's what it looks like when we have two of them connected together. And this area right here is of course the synapse and this is that little gap. The next thing that uh, we need to know are some of the details of what that gap looks like. Uh, and that's what this shows. This is, I think, a little more detail than what you need to be able to draw. But um, this is uh, something that I think you, you can draw. Okay, so um, again, keep in mind that image of the lightning bolt coming down, uh, down the axon towards the axon terminal. This area right here is what we call the axon terminal. So this is, of course, the end of the axon. Uh, the next thing at this point that happens is the electrical signal causes uh, one of these little bubbles to pop. You could think of the lightning bolts coming down and popping these little bubbles. Now, uh, I want to be sure and say that's not exactly what happens, but at this point, uh, if you and I can visualize it that way, that's fine. The little bubbles, of course, are the vesicles that contain the neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitters um, are, are chemical messages that carry, uh, are chemical messengers that carry that, um, that message across the synapse to the next, um, the next dendrite or, or the next neuron. Um, once that happens, once they're released into the, uh, into the synapse, they travel across the synapse where they land. Some of them will land on the receptor molecules of our second neuron. Once that happens, that causes uh, a new electrical signal. And that new electrical signal happens in our second neuron, in neuron number two. Okay, this is a fairly complex uh, idea. Uh, I think one way for you to practice do, doing that is if on the left side, if you make this little sketch with two neurons, uh, and then you also include in that sketch, if you include the, uh, another little sketch showing the, uh, the synapse, and if you can illustrate this um, with the process of what happens uh, for our nerve impulse to start over here, travel down through neuron one, and then we have this whole sequence of events that happens here at the synapse, uh, and then our, uh, our, our message continues down neuron number two. If you can sort of illustrate that uh, on your own, possibly even putting that into your own words, I think that will uh, show that you have a pretty good understanding. Okay, so this is the end of vodcast number five. Again, I'm Mr. Galladay from Desert Ridge High School, Honors Biology, and I hope you have a great day.